Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover how to install Apache on Ubuntu to turn your system into a web server for development. This is great if you want to learn to program or you're planning on building your own website. Okay, so to get started you need to install Apache. Apache is web software that's used on many web servers around the world. To install it, open a terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and type in sudo apt install Apache 2. Now we can open Firefox and see the default page is displayed. To navigate to this page, type in 127.0.0.1 into the address bar. Now that we can see it's working, we'll remove the default HTML folder for Apache. In the terminal, type in the following line. Next we'll change the document root since we deleted the HTML folder. We just want this to be the www folder. You can change this to anything you'd like if you'd like to keep those files somewhere else on your system. Type in sudo nano followed by this path. You'll see a line that says document root. Remove HTML from the end of your folder path or put in your own custom path. Now we're ready to install PHP. In the terminal, type the following line. The last thing we need to install is MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. This acts as a database to store information about your site that you can access through PHP. To install this, type in sudo apt install mysql server and then space and php myadmin. To configure php myadmin with Apache, type in sudo nano followed by this path. Add the following line to the bottom of the file. Now restart the Apache web server for all the changes to take effect. Type in sudo service apache2 restart. Finally, we need to change the permissions of our document root to allow us to edit the files. We understand this step might be a security issue for a web server that's online, but in this case we want to make it possible to edit the files in the folder. Type the following line into the terminal. Now we can test out our web server. In the terminal, type in sudo nano followed by this path. We'll type in the following piece of code just to test that it's working properly. If it works, we should see a message on the screen. Now we'll open the web browser and test this out again. Once again, just type in 127.0.0.1. Since this is displaying our message, that tells us that the web server is set up properly and is processing the PHP script. Thanks for watching this video on setting up a web server with Apache, PHP, and MySQL. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out our other video where we covered how you can turn your computer into a retro gaming machine.